Many are planning their holiday dinners. Meals on Wheels is really struggling to get food to homebound seniors in Pinellas County. That's right. Right now, 900 seniors are on the waiting list for help, unsure of where they will get their next meal. And ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane learns what you can do to help because one's hot and one's cold. Kimball Roots and Barry Young are volunteers who have spent two years delivering for Meals on Wheels. Usually they're shut in, so they don't have anybody. So we may be the only people they see all week. The Neighborly Care Network operates Meals on Wheels distribution sites in Pinellas County and currently serves more than 2,000 people a month. And right now, the number of people needing those meals is overwhelming. More than 900 homebound seniors are on the waiting list to receive meals who otherwise may not eat. But it's about much more than just the food, especially for seniors who feel isolated. And there's times, you know, family's not there every day, but our driver's there saying hello and handing a hot meal. And at times can be that last point of contact, that good point of contact for somebody who desperately needs it. For seniors who are not homebound, there are congregate dining sites throughout the county. Here, seniors can come for lunch and eat meals together, like Susan Crompton enjoys doing at the Gulfport Senior Center. I come Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for Meals on Wheels. I love it. I love the community. The dining, there's no waiting list. But, you know, they offer a wonderful, balanced meal. The nonprofit says they're in desperate need of funds and volunteers. If you have the time to volunteer, we definitely could use um, volunteers, drivers throughout just about all of our sites. It's something Kimball and Barry say is a wonderful opportunity to serve people who really need it. It's, it's fun, it feels great, and uh, would certainly encourage other people who yeah, would want to volunteer. Absolutely. To learn more on how to give or volunteer, check out this story on our website at abcactionnews.com. In Pinellas County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.